I want to take a minute to talk to you guys about something that's really important to me. I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll just start off by saying this is something that's been a part of my life since I was a little kid. All this time, I thought I had it all figured out. And about two weeks ago, I made this discovery that has changed things in a big way. I want to talk to you guys about the coffee suck. This state-of-the-art system right here created by some gluten-free, grape nuts eating vegan who hasn't showered in two weeks and wears natural deodorant will change the way you drink iced coffee for the rest of your life. Now, I might not be getting paid for this, but I'm going to take another minute and show you how it works. First, take two cups of your favorite coffee grinds, which isn't going to be anything from Dunkin' Donuts, and dump them into this ultra-permeable sock, which is draped over the mason jar, like so. Once all the grinds are shaken to the bottom, add about a half a cup of water to dampen the grinds. I recommend that you let that shit sit for a couple minutes, creating a nice, hard, compact wad of awesome. Kind of like your favorite dip of skull, except not made out of tobacco that'll kill you, but coffee. The next step is to carefully add six cups of filtered water. Oh yeah. The next step is to use the attached strap and loop to tie off the coffee sock so that it can brew overnight without any spillover of the grind into the water. Seal that shit up good and tight and let it sit in your fridge overnight. You can bet your ass that in 12 to 16 hours, you'll have six cups. Some of the best goddamn iced coffee you've ever had. That easy. Your mind blown? Ha! <laughs> I'm not even fucking done yet. I want to take your iced coffee drinking experience to the next level and create an ultra high octane cup of coffee that doesn't get watered down throughout the day. Save half a cup of your last, but make some ice cubes. I'll see you guys in the morning for some good coffee.